slow really does help. What? You're right, kicking it slow really does help. Kicking it slow does help. Alright, so today, um, we're doing a comparison. This is going to be the 100% stock 49cc scooter. I'm here with my nephew Peyton. Uh, we're going to do stock 49cc scooter and I'm going to run some lap times. I already got the back tired up. It will only hold air for about 15 minutes, so we're just going to go ahead and get into it. All right. I'm probably not going to go as fast as you'd like for the first few laps. Just get used to it, man. I'm I'm get just get it, used yeah. to it. Don't run yourself flat out and run into a tree. I mean, these trees yeah. aren't very big, but they're still enough to kill you. Yeah. All right. Don't run it all out because you ain't got a helmet on. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Which is not smart. I don't condone that. <laughs> <laughs> Looky there, the brake light actually works. Wow. Seems like a lot slower when you're actually watching it than when you're actually on it. Right about now, he's up in there somewhere. There he goes, right through the sunset. <laughs> this is just a couple warm up laps is all this is. But this is also to kind of give you an idea as to where the trail does go and how the go-kart track whenever I was a kid used to go. That was pretty cool, buddy. Yeah. All right, so what am I hearing rattling? There's something rattling. Like who's rattling? Is it the, no. I don't think it's the plastics. I don't know. Uh, it, it didn't really cause me any trouble with like the... Which, which side of the field did you go on? Did you go on the far west side or did you go on the east side? Did you go closest closer. this direction? Yeah, I was closest this direction. All right, so that's the furthest east side. Yeah. Um, As you can tell, it's nighttime here. Well, almost nighttime. Yeah, like I went around and up the north trail, and then after that, I just kept going straight at about an angle like that, maybe, and went on the far side of that tree, that pine tree. Oh, uh, okay. So like, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't go that far. We're out. gonna we're gonna do an actual ride around real quick. Do you feel comfortable holding the camera while you're going? Not going there fast. No, I mean there. just like do a lap or so. Yeah. Uh, just show the track, but don't show all the houses and stuff because yeah. that's kind of trashy looking. <laughs> <laughs> we don't look the best out here. But just try. Right. When you go through here, be careful because where that washout goes through. Uh, it's kind of bumpy and hard to do. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute, dude. Yeah, see you. Doing this with one hand is pretty hard, so I'm not going to go very fast. <laughs> Shit, I'm falling off the seat.
I'm trying not to wreck this bike. <laughs> this my uncle would kill me if I did that. That was the lap for you. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do a couple of time trials and we'll go ahead and film that too. All right, so we've you officially got our, our starting line, our finish line, whatever you wanna call it. All right, we haven't ridden this track. This particular track hasn't been ridden since I was a teenager. Uh, but the other track that we're going to revive Maybe. I, mean, I, I, can I don't know the, the track where it was. I can see it too, but... But, I mean, we rode it for like two years. Yeah, well, we rode it for a year. Uh, we, we rode it okay, for an we, entire summer, and we had it down perfectly smooth. Yeah. I mean, it was perfectly smooth. But uh, you can't even really see where it went now. But we're going to revive it. You'll see that in a future episode. But uh, right now, this is just a, a comparison, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my phone while he's starting the bike and uh, we're gonna see exactly how fast it is around this track. Hey, and maybe, maybe we could have a little competition. See who's faster. Yeah, we well, can see who's faster. All right, so, we have it. You ready? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> now that was pretty cool. Oh, wow. He just burned out. I changed the gearing a couple of years ago and decided to put some light, lighter roller weights in there and changed the clutch spring to 1500 RPM and now it's got all the power in the world. But we're also on mud here. And while he's over there, I'll show you this real quick. He came right there and almost lost it. You see that curved line? All right, let's get back to it. What are you laughing about? <laughs> oh, I know it was. You almost ate dirt, man. I know. <laughs> wow. Let's see if I can do any better than that. <laughs> oh wait, I need to put that in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have you uh, guess your time. Um, like over 30 seconds. No. Actually, give me a legit. Um, 37.2. Way off. 59.6. Way off. You were 1 minute 16 seconds. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you know, I, I almost freaking killed myself taking off. <laughs> All right, so I'll give you one more chance, one more, one more lap, and then it's my turn. Here we go. In three, two, one. One twelve. Then he almost wipes out again. He almost wiped out again. Three twelve seventeen. He got a better time than he did last time. That's so much better. All right, dude. So here's my turn. Three, two, one, go. Twenty-four seconds so far. 
at the very edge. It's like a movie scene. I feel like I say the most random stuff on camera. I hate you. What was my time? Faster than 116? No. Uh, no three. Yeah, buddy. I, I think you. that's worthy. All right, so yesterday we did some uh, time trial comparisons. Uh, Peyton got a 116. I got a 103. Uh, and I ran out of memory space on my SD card for my camera, so I decided to do this video today. The squeaking sound you heard most of the way through the video was the front shocks. Whenever anybody would move, like bounce up and down on the bike, it would squeak real bad. That's actually the front shocks. They haven't been looped up or anything since I've owned the bike or anybody before that as far as I know. Uh, the bike was ridden pretty hard. Other squealing sound you hear whenever somebody's taken off or something like that. I'm almost 100% positive it's the clutch, and I changed it once a couple of years ago, but I wear and tear over the last couple of years. But uh, this is just to conclude the video. Um, I didn't get a chance to make an intro or an outro for it yesterday because I just I was running so short on time. It was getting dark really fast, and I ran out of memory space on my card. So. So if you like the video, leave a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It helps the content get seen so that way other people can weigh in their opinions on my videos. And until next time, doesn't have to be bigger or better as long as it's funner than before. <laughs>